to create a title block within Revit. First, we're going to have a look at this one. So here we are within the Revit sample project. This is just a title block that's been pre-installed. You can see here on the left-hand side, it's, it's category is title, title block, and it's it's an A1 metric. So just to have a look at this, you just go to Edit Family. Uh, it's already in the background. You can see here it's got a series of different parameters: client name, project name, sheet name, numbers and dates, etc. If I go back in here, you can see here that this information is automatically populated from those particular label parameters used in here as well. I'll show you the purpose of them in a moment. So this is a fairly uh, detailed title block. I'm just going to show you how to start creating one from scratch. So you go to File, New, go to Title Block, select one of the pre-installed templates, any particular one. We're going to change the size of it anyway. These are all in, in inches change this to centimeters so I've opened this one in the background as well it's just a plain template it's just got four lines you can see I'm going to change this to a3 size so I'm going to make this 420 wide 297 high it's going to change it just by typing in there and we can see this is actually an RFA file uh, as well it is a family file so I'm just going to start creating some labels so say for example you want to put in our company logo you can either insert your company logo and image uh, in, in import one of those from somewhere but what i'm actually going to do i'm going to create a custom one just using a piece of text for a company name so i'm just going to call this abc architects abc architects and you can edit that to in particular so that's just a just a simple piece of text you can add in lots of other text you know the address of your business and stuff like that as well phone number email address etc etc i'm just going to keep it simple for so this and they're going to start creating some labels so it's going to ask me where i want to place those labels just click anywhere in the sheet and it brings up a series of parameters so these parameters is the information that it's going to pull in from your particular project that you load it into so we want to have the client name what else do we want to have we want to have drawn by file path if you want lots of ifc ones there scale obviously quite important sheet issue date sheet issue name and we'll give it a sheet issue number as well and we have client name uh, let's go for project name as well we want project name to be the first one uh, put that under client client is most important then project name drawn by etc etc so it's going to hit apply on that click ok and you can see it's just brought in a series of kind of uh, labels after labels but we actually want to arrange these to, to be more readable, I suppose. So if you just use the break option at the end of each parameter, that's just going to put stack them on top of each other. So that's quite a, a, a lengthy piece of information there. You can break these into individual ones if you want as well. Once we load these in, these will obviously uh, pull in the information that we're looking for. I can change the size of this text as well. I'm going to create a new one. So create a new one. So this current one is set at or tag one or that text size i'm going to make this text size we'll make it 2.5 mils nice and tidy yeah, and i want to change it maybe to aerial we'll change it to aerial round for now to see how it looks that's fine place that in there now i also want to maybe place some annotation information just line work around it so i'm just going to start drawing some lines i just want to place maybe a box around that so this is just stationary information that will just tidy up how it appears. So I'm just going to like so. Just going to copy that one down multiple times. It's looking pretty good. I'm just going to line that up a bit better. There we are. I'm going to load this into my project now. So load into project. Load into my open project. Just click OK. And then we've got an A3 sheet. And we can see that comes in. When I go to load in a sheet, I can see here it's got a series of different ones. I can rename it. For currently, it's called Family Three. I can rename that to, to Edit Type. Just click OK on that. And now I'm actually going to create a new sheet. So I can delete that. A new sheet. That's going to ask you which one to load in. I want the Family Three A3 sheet. Place that, and then obviously you can start just dragging levels. Pull that sheet onto it. 
simple. I can change the scale of that. Let's make it once to 200 so it fits a bit tidier. Goes nicely on the sheet there now. Across. Now, down to our parametric information. So, where it's pulling this information from, you can see in the left hand side here, sheet name. What do I want to name it? I want to name it floor plan. Floor plan uh, GF for ground floor. You can see that one updates as well. The author checked by, designed by, put in my initials there as well. The sheet issue date, you can see it's automatically pulled that into there as well. It's automatically put in the scale as well. Who I want the author to be, put my own initials on this, JR. Sample house, where it's pulling this information from. You can see here, you can change these parameter values in here. This is your project information. So we can just say this, Jones's holiday home. Client is Autodesk. I'm just going to click OK. And you can see that information updates already. So you can imagine you can build up this title sheet to create any sort of custom parameters. Just to tidy this up a bit further, I'm just going to edit this family again. So I'm just going to go back into my family. Here we are. I just want to tidy this up so it looks a bit more presentable. So I can actually start editing the label of this. I'm just going to pull that across and I'm actually going to put that over there. I'm going to create another set of labels here on the left hand side just of text so having edited a bit further i've changed the text to to a aerial round just to make it a bit more presentable i've placed in what would be a logo or company logo up here as well i've just changed it to what your, your company color might be you can easily change that just by going up here as well say for example you might have a, a blue or maybe a blue. We'll go for a uh, yeah we'll go for a blue kind of color that's your logo Place that in there as well. You might even have a logo image here on the left. And then all of these on the right hand side are your label tags. I've broken them into individual labels. So each one is an individual label. Rather than having them stacked, it just gives you a bit more control. Left hand side, this is just text, just naming what is going to be populated in here. You can see that I've moved the logo from here. Create a nice little box over here as well. I've just used the line tool to create this as well. I'm given an offset of 2.5 from each one. I can change the thickness of these lines if I wish. So I'm just going to change those the subcategory. I could make those the medium line size project. Click OK. Overwrite the existing ones parameters. And there you have a title block custom made. <laughs>